What is the crack, lads? And welcome back to another episode and another weekly roundup. It is Monday, the 5th of September, and we're probably not going to see a big update, I think, until October when they have actually said there will be a big update coming around that time. So it'll probably be early October based on a couple of different things, such as this ending in 65 days. You see the season there. So that will obviously launch us into season two. Um, but there's also a couple of other bits and pieces that obviously ends in 55 days. So 55 days and 65 days, there's 10 days between that. Um, I think that that'll be because there'll probably be like a, kind of a slight um, a break or like, you know, obviously a little bit of maintenance or whatever. But again, that's just me thinking what I'm thinking. So we are actually just going to go through what is new this week and catch you guys up to date if you haven't been playing or if you just want to check out and you're away from your console or whatever. There isn't much this week, but we do have a new Dream Team event. So obviously the authentic matches are still the exact same. Um and we do have an event in here, which is a tour event, which again, you can, you can, uh, you can, these are going to be reset in on Thursday in two days time, uh, these two here. Um, but this Liga MX one that has started today and that ends in six days. So that'll be, you know, the recycled, um, there's, there's two, there's one that kind of like takes the, like the campaign and then there's two that are done every Thursday as you see here, and then there's one, obviously, that is on the Monday, so this isn't a bad one, obviously, if you are starting off, and you, you know, are in need of uh, some coins, or some GP, I should say, you can get 30,000, and you can also get a three-star nominating contract with 1,500 points, so I think it's like one game on Legend, and of course, you can sim that as well um, against the AI, so it's, it should be it should be fairly decent, and again, the tour events, a lot of people are finding as well that they are completing a lot of the you know, the campaign objectives and stuff like that by doing the tour events as well. So the eFootball League then as well, that is actually going to be resetting on the 22nd of the 9th. So you can see there as well that we are in Division 7. We will be playing a couple of games and check out the channel for them, but that will be resetting around that time as well. And then moving on to the main screen of some stuff, and I want to talk about this, but we will just cover the contract stuff in a second. Um, but yeah, so this stuff here from the main menu, and obviously it's the same on the actual website itself. You do have your 10,000 GP login bonus, which is today's login, and then the news, right? So we have a couple of bits to go over here um, regarding the console version of the game. So obviously there's a couple of bits and pieces for the mobile version as well, um, but it's mostly about kind of... Um, just little bugs and stuff like that and crashes and stuff so it's not a it's not a massive a massive thing um the security alert here is just people that are obviously you know just be careful obviously um that people are you know trying to trying to fish i think that's what it's called um you know or pretend that it is a konami email or whatever there's a lot of scams going around um so just be careful and then they also confirmed this so i wanted to talk about this a little bit because people have been asking me my thoughts on it uh so basically like two or three weeks ago every game that was like you were finding in matchmaking was shown up as a five uh bar kind of connection between you and your opponent which obviously uh you know it had gone from like a three bar four bar every game to every game being a five bar so people were kind of a little bit suspicious as to why that had happened maybe they did fixed you know some issues and networking and you know the net code or whatever um but they actually say here that they confirmed that after the 25th of the eighth maintenance which was you know what two weeks ago uh last week the antenna icon during matchmaking was showing the wrong status so the criteria for the antenna icon displayed was averted to how it was prior to a fix implemented in the 7th of the 7th update so they basically are saying that from the 7th of July until the 25th of August, the, the, the actual, like the matchmaking antenna, when you matched up with somebody and it was like a three bar, a four bar, a five bar, whatever it was, was, was pretty accurate. But after the 25th of August maintenance, as they say there, it was actually shown up like wrong. Every match was a five star. So you could have matched with somebody and say, oh, five star match, but it actually could have been, you know, a one star match or a one bar match. So they do have this change back now during the first of the ninth maintenance, and they will be sending out 30,000 GP 
to anybody that has played the game or created an account by September 1st. So um, anyone should have got that by now. And then they also talk about this issue as well that a lot of people were asking me about this as well with the live update rating and the form. I will do another updated video on that because people are still kind of questioning certain things about it um, and they want to see different things of, of how it works. But they do talk about an issue where the player's condition during the match, which is calculated based on the player's live update rating and form, is not being calculated correctly. As a temporary measure, until the fix goes live, this is how the player's condition calculation will start working from the 8th of September. Standard players whose form is inconsistent will have their form set to normal for the purpose of calculating his conditioning during the match. And note that the in-game display will not change, so your player will still be shown to have an inconsistent form. So they've just kind of made it behind the scenes that under the hood, um, visually, you will still see that your player has an inconsistent form. So somebody like Lukaku, I think, has an inconsistent form. But his actual form will be set to normal until they actually make the fix. So they sit, talk about, again, compensation for that. And then they talk about a couple of known issues, right? So these are just a couple of issues, and there is a couple of things here to go into. Um, this is more just kind of a, a kind of an issue and news update. So they talk about the, the names not being shown on strips for some teams. Some of the teams that they added, some of the new strips, the names are like, you know, glitching. Um, they also talk about that long loading times, frame rate decreases during matches played in the Gwis Stadium or Gwis Stadium when setting the time to night and season to summer. So yeah, I noticed this once or twice. I didn't think it was game breaking for me. Um, it was more so in the second half, actually, that I noticed it more. Online matches are interrupted and considered void. So we are going to be talking about this one in a second, but make sure that you do go, you guys do get your five-star nominating contract um, because it might have an expiry date and a 10,000 GP. So we want to talk about this one here because this is actually a fairly big one, even though it's a short and sweet message from Konami, right? They talk about winning matches through unauthorized means, which a lot of people at the moment are having issues where they're playing a match, somebody will rage quit, or so it seems, but what happens is the match actually just is never recorded. Like, it just doesn't never count. Now, this has happened to me twice, I think, since the game launched back in, you know, last September. So it isn't a massive issue compared to going back to Pez 17 and 18. This was a massive, massive issue. It was literally like, at one stage, it was like one in every three games. People were, um, you know, like doing this. Um, so there is, there is obviously, they are looking at it. And I, I definitely think... Uh, anyone doing it, you know, it should be banned from the game or whatever, but it's very hard to track, obviously, when people make free accounts for a free game, you know what I mean? You can just make a free profile with a different email address or whatever and make unlimited free accounts on your PSN. You don't even need PS Plus or, you know, whatever to, to play the game online because it's free, 100% uh, free, so it is hard to tackle this, but yeah, I definitely think that they are looking at this and they have updated a few of the rankings and stuff, so um. Yeah, that is, that is huge, I think, for going forward, especially as you want to make this as competitive as possible. So last but not least, we then we do have the agents that are up today. So again, I have covered all of these agents uh, in a dedicated review. So check that out. It is the Real Betis uh, pack review here as well. And as you can see, there is eight players and uh, there's some nice players in there, I'd say. Sergio Canales is probably the pick of them. Uh, he's an absolute monster, which will show. And they do have some nice ratings and stuff like that. The few of them are on B form. William Carvalho is a nice player as well. Um, but yeah, that is it for me, lads. Don't forget to subscribe. We're nearly at 18,000 subs. A massive, massive thank you to everyone supporting the channel. Let me know what other content you guys would like to see. And we will be starting our Dream Team Chronicles. We'll be mixing and matching both squads. So we're going to have an AC Milan past and present squad. And we're going to have a 5-3-2 kind of squad as well, where we bring in a lot of youngsters and test out a lot of players. So that is it for me, lads. Don't forget to subscribe and keep going with the channel as we try our best to get out a load of videos and daily videos and i will talk to you later hope you guys are enjoying eFootball 23 but let me know either way peace